On August 29, 1949, the Russians detonated their first atomic bomb. This event, coming five years earlier than anyone in the West had predicted, was largely the result of one man, Klaus Fuchs. Fuchs, a Los Alamos physicist, had passed detailed blueprints of the original Trinity design to the Russians. With the emergence of the USSR as a nuclear rival in 1949, the United States believed it had strong motivation for intensifying its program of nuclear testing. Quite expensive and a lot of logistics involved in carrying out an operation in the Pacific. So in January 1951, the United States opened up the Nevada Proving Grounds, which we now call the Nevada Test Site. You know, this is about 60 miles north of Las Vegas to check out the weapons for Greenhouse, Operation Ranger was conducted in which five new nuclear weapon types were airdropped at that new test site. confidence of those new weapons in hand, Operation Greenhouse proceeded in the spring of 1951. Four shots were conducted on Greenhouse. One of the shots, shot easy, was a Department of Defense structural effects test. A 47 kiloton nuclear device on a tower was used and it loaded many, many of the structures that had been developed for survivability in the nuclear weapon environment. A fourth test on Operation Greenhouse was the item test, about a 45 and a half kiloton test in which tritium was burned in the very center of the nuclear explosion. And this process of putting tritium at the very center of the, of the nuclear weapon is called boosting. And we kicked the yield up from about 20 kilotons to 45 and a half kilotons, more than doubling it by that process. A very important feature 
in expanding the stockpile of nuclear weapons of the United States at that time. Another of the events on Greenhouse was the George event. Now George is a large 225 kiloton weapon that was used to burn a deuterium capsule. And this is the first of our thermonuclear weapon experiments to ever be conducted. 